So begin to removing your background, you're going to want to select the object or person you'd like to keep. To do this, select the Quick Selection tool. Click and drag on your object or person until they are fully selected. If you make some mistakes, you can hold down the Alt key while dragging to remove some of your selection. As you can see, the Quick Selection tool isn't perfect. So if you want a more precise selection, you can either combine its use with the Lasso tool, or you can just use the Lasso tool instead. To add to your selection with the Lasso tool, you can drag while holding down the Shift key. To remove from your selection, hold down the Alt key. Once you finish making your selection, click on the Refine Edge button. Here you can make minor adjustments like increasing the radius around your selection, making your edges smoother, amongst other things. The most important property here though is the output to area. If you have no use at all for your background anymore, I suggest selecting the new document with layer mask option. Hit OK once you are finished. As you can see, Photoshop created a new document without the background. Save the document as a PNG to preserve its transparency. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to remove the background in Photoshop.